Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shrikant. I am a consultant pediatric gastroenterology, hepatology, nutrition at Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. Newborn and in early infancy, jaundice can occur because of two reasons. Uh, it can be a normal jaundice, what we call in medical terms as a physiological jaundice. So uh, most of the babies do have that and they recover eventually and it is not a serious condition. But there is something called pathological jaundice or a serious jaundice and which points towards a serious liver disease and which require a detailed evaluation and a, and a treatment. So how do you know that whether your baby has a serious jaundice or not? One of the clue, apart from yellowishness of the eyes, what we call jaundice, the urine of the baby becomes yellow, very dark yellow and stains the diaper or whatever cloths it comes in contact and at times the stool becomes very pale or a whitish stool. So this says that uh, your baby has a serious disease of the liver which needs uh, evaluation and subsequent treatment. So how do we evaluate a child or uh, investigate a child of your baby who has a serious liver disease? So we would run a battery of blood investigations, we call it as liver function test and child may require an ultrasonography of the abdomen to see at the liver and many other investigation to look for the exact reason. So what are the reasons for liver disease in, uh, in early infancy or neonatal period? Uh, it can be uh, because of the congenital malformation where uh, the development process of the liver is incomplete because of these two reasons or then can be having a metabolic liver disease where baby is not able to handle certain metabolites in the food and uh, uh, because of that the liver is dysfunctional so based on various tests we try to find out what is the reason for this and uh, if the disease is in early stage then we can uh, treat it with some medical uh, managed measures like withholding a food products or with some medication or if it is in the advanced stage, child may require surgery and in, in a very severely advanced stage, liver transplantation would be the only option. So it is better to get evaluated at an earlier stage so that we can, we can prevent or postpone the requirement of surgery or a liver transplantation.